Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news that is generally upbeat around the world today. There's been a bigger than normal set of US data released overnight, and most of it was positive. Durable goods orders are up more than expected in April. Consumer confidence is up in May. The Case-Shiller house price index rose as expected by a modest amount, and the US services PMI came in better than expected, a two-year high. Two regional Fed surveys of manufacturing, however, came in lower than expected, but were still quite positive. On the back of this, the S&P 500 climbed to an all-time high above the 1900 mark for the first time. Gold has fallen sharply this morning and is currently down $25 an ounce to $1,267 an ounce in late New York trade. That's its lowest level in four months. In related news, and a sign that London may wane as a centre for gold trading, China has approached foreign banks and gold producers to participate in a global gold exchange in Shanghai. China has also announced that it will remove 5 million old cars that do not meet exhaust emission standards by the end of this year in order to improve air quality. That may also be a subtle signal for expanded stimulus in addition to being an air quality measure. It also said it will increase subsidies for basic medical coverage in a move to help the poor and in turn stimulate consumption. The Chinese president was publicly promoting his reform agenda in free markets yesterday and this is taken by some to mean it will tolerate some sharp bumps as major adjustments are made. Fonterra has announced overnight that it has restructured its DPA partnership in South America with Nestle. It has taken a majority ownership position in Brazil and Venezuela while giving up interests in a milk powder operation and in Ecuador. It's the first change in their 10-year partnership in the region. Fonterra says it's worth an extra $96 million to them next year. Fonterra will announce its latest New Zealand payout details this morning. The oil price is unchanged today and benchmark US 10-year bond yields fell in New York trading and are now at 2.53%. On the exchange rate, we start today with the New Zealand dollar slightly lower at 85.4 US cents at 92.3 Aussie cents and the TWI is now at 79.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.